are chirimoya, custard apple would be the English name for them. A fruit which is very creamy inside. Why? She's showing us the fruits and the vegetables of Peru at the market. And we just remove the, the uh, they make a lot of dessert as well. Biggest mango I've ever seen. It's freaking huge. Wait, hold it up next to your head. Damn. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> and it's like, damn. I'm sure they didn't use any like growth steroids on it or anything. So you have the fruit going by. You're just wheeling it. And then you have this. Which is all seafood. More seafood. And the water just drips onto the floor. And he's just pulling the vegetables through. Safety first. Then you eat. All getting cut up. But no real way for the. Look at that. The cutting board's just the counter. Oh. I'm sure the knives have been cleaned. I haven't seen anything to clean them with, but. Safety first, right? Safety first. It's like we've stepped into a whole different world here in this market. It's outdoors, it's indoors, there's fruits, there's chickens, there's beef, everything, everything. It's good. It's San Martin. Eighty percent of Lima is Catholic, and so there's going to be a huge procession after Mass. Um, but for now, we're just walking through the streets of uh, Lima. Thanks. With the coat of arms in the middle, if the flag is being used in a private house or building, it is without. Can you explain? Can you explain that briefly? Because someone thought they saw a maple leaf in the middle. So, what it has is the Peruvian coat of arms represents the three different kingdoms of nature. There's one field which has, no, it's not a llama, sometimes they put a llama, but officially it is a vicuna, which is the finest of the animals in that family. A vicuna representing the animal kingdom. Then it has a tree, which is the tree for Quanon. Why not was discovered in Peru until so much for medical purposes. Why not water? It was already used, yeah, I always said English people, you wouldn't have your gin and tonic if it wasn't for us. <laughs> <laughs> it was discovered here, and that, since it was a tree from here, it is taken as a symbol for the vegetable kingdom. So you see a tree on the right hand side, and underneath, in all the bottom level, there is the horn of plenty with gold coins coming out of it, representing what is still today the main wealth in the country. The minerals and precious metals, like gold, Peru is still uh, uh, in the last 25 or 30 years an important gold producer, especially since they discovered a mine in the northern highlands. Interesting because the Spaniards looked for gold everywhere and the first gold they ever got in Peru was the gold from the Inca ransom and all of the Spaniards were fighting for a room full of, uh, full of gold each one wanted a bigger shirt, a bigger piece of the cane but what they didn't realize was exactly behind them was a mountain made of gold and that mountain made of gold, Yanacocha, is the mine which has brought Peru back to be a, an important gold producer. 50% of the gold which Peru is producing comes from that one mine which the Spaniards missed finding. 500 years later, a Peruvian mining company 
Buenaventura, in partnership with Newman from the United States, started exploiting that mine and is the wealthiest gold mine that we have in Peru at the moment. Luckily, the Spaniards missed seeing it because thanks to that gold, also part of our economy has recovered in recent years. And the red on each side and the white in the middle? Uh, well, that will be from the Peruvian flag, which with the independence they decided that the Peruvian flag was going to be red, white, red. They said red for the blood of the heroes who fought for the independence, white for peace, hoping for peace in the future. And they decided to put it on both the national colors on both sides of the colors. Wow. Corpus Christi. You can't see it, but there's a drone going up in the sky right now recording all of this. So right now we're in the Largo Museum that goes through uh, Incan history, which is pretty cool. Sorry, it's really loud, but here, look. And the origin of mankind is this far known to be Africa. From Africa, humans started moving. And the people who arrived to Peru, the first humans arriving to our territory, apparently came from Asia and Mongolia across the Bering Strait. So I can't they take any have more pictures. Guys, and also, you can see there at the end, some cities were sitting and just falling asleep, sitting down. Here you find important chiefs also 
endless, endless amounts. The video. <laughs> How? It's really every aspect of their life is represented. These are the ones with pets. Oh. These are the ones sitting down and falling asleep. These are the women. I, I, I just hope that. Oh, there's so many. Look at this. More vases, more vases, more vases. There's another, and another. That one's just weird cats. This one looks like a frog. That's a bird. There's so many different kinds. Look, look at this little dude. He's like, what up? And then look at this one. I don't even know what that is. Is that supposed to be a boot? No one really knows. Zebra. Hello. It's crazy. Look at this. Look, look at that. So. There's so many. It keeps going. Look at this. That's crazy. That's cool. It's not like a steak. For me, the at the time I was young, I know there's so much to do with this. They had to be super boring. Crazy. There's more. Look at that. Those are bowls. Look at this. There's cups. There's a little. My lord. Sadie. Yeah, mm. Excuse my language, but look how I asked for extra guacamole, and they gave me extra guacamole. That's for sure. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Hello. Why did you do that? <laughs>